The preparation ends. The dancers fill these silver cups with lotus flowers. They are gifts for the gods. The ballet mistresses choose the future dancers and carefully examine the morphology, the face shape, and the beauty of the features, which will determine the final role. Lotus, the most sacred flower, is often seen in Cambodian architecture. In Khmer iconography, it incarnates the earth, a Vishnu attribute. The silver pagoda is in the southern part of the royal palace. It represents young King Naradam as a bonds during his adolescence. Another bronze statue of the King Naradam sits opposite the pagoda's entrance. It was created in France in 1875. Many small funerary temples still shelter royal ashes. All these monuments are religious shrines they're decorated by sculptures that represent sacred faces. Lions, birds, and snakes, as well as figures vowed to the cult of the ancients. A gallery forms a cloister around the paved yard. The walls are covered with polychrome frescas relating the main episodes of Khmer mythology. Even if Buddhism is the predominant religion in Cambodia, Phnom Penh today counts only 22 pagodas. This is the Vat Phnom Penh, or the Temple of the Hill. The legend retracing Phnom Penh's origins says that Mrs. Penh discovered a floating tree here with four bronze statues of Buddha in 1372. She demanded the construction of a temple. The monks were invited to settle, and they founded Vat Phnom. Thank you. 